Simone, I'm in the craft room, and today I am going to turn a golf ball into a turtle. I have some subscribers out there that like turning golf balls into other things as much as I do, and I was requested to make a turtle. So, I am going to do that. I've been playing with the design a little bit, and I created a template. I'm using craft foam, and I'm just tracing my template. And all it is is an oval, and I have two slits cut out. This is green craft foam, so I do not have to worry about painting it. But I want to cut out, and I'm cutting out on the inside of the line that I drew so that the pen markings won't show. Now the plan is to kind of pinch that together just like that, and that will create a shell for us. Very simple. But before we start getting into that, I need to paint this guy. In addition to the golf ball, I also have four golf tees. And I have this, um, I think it's a doll head. Bead, doll head, whatever. Um, all of these parts are going to be painted the same color green. And I'm going to make it lighter than the shell. This is what I have so far. I painted this for the head, the little bead guy for the head. I have painted the golf ball. I have my shell. And I have five golf tees painted too. I'm using hot glue. You can use regular glue. I also have a drill. The first thing I want to do is very carefully glue. And again, you do not need to use the hot glue, but for demonstration purposes, it's a little bit easier. I'm going to put just a little bit of hot glue on this bottom edge where I cut it out and then I'm going to fold it together like this and I'll let it cool and I'll do the same on this side and you just want to hold them together till they're cooled and well secured okay so I've got that and this is going to sit on the back of the turtle like this I'm going to use a thin paintbrush and with the same color green that I was using before I'm going to put some accents on this shell. So I just have a thin paintbrush. And I'm going to paint a little rim just like that. And I'll do the same thing on this side. And I'm going to kind of go across. I'm doing kind of a wavy line that way just to kind of break it up so it doesn't look too too straight like that. And that will give you your shell. Now what I want to do is glue this shell on so I'm just going to put a dollop here and you can mix this with other glue too. I'm just doing the hot glue. Put it on let it cool off. I'm going to have it sit on here while that happens. And in the meantime, I'm going to put a little glue here. This is going to be the head. Now I need to cut this down because it's going to be way too long, which I knew, but I'm just going to take some wire cutters and I'm going to drill, put on my safety glasses and drill the hole. I'm going to shorten this a little bit more. All right, so there his head is inserted, and now I got to do the feet. And I'm going to cut these a little bit too. All right, I'm going to drill four holes. All right, I've dusted this guy off. Now I'm going to use a paintbrush and I'm going to kind of just give him, they kind of have like a pointy, not really a beak, but I don't know how well I did there. That's his mouth. And then I'm just going to make a couple of dots here for the eyes. So I painted this guy's eyes and I didn't like them. So I decided to go with the smallest Google eyes that I had, which are not that small. And just kind of glue them on. 
All this guy needs now is a little bit of touch up painting from where I drilled and then he'll be ready to go. So thank you for watching, thank you for liking this video, and thank you for spending a little time with me. We will see you next time. Happy crafting!